meet Terry. How many of you know Terry Langens? Okay, she's a fantastic, very successful speaker. I met her at the, one of my very first NSA conferences. She is spectacular. She is a very, very well uh, sought after speaker. And she had seen a, decre a decrease in her online bookings. She wasn't getting found. Her blogs are not getting likes, shares, and follows. And she was a little panicked. It was time for her to update her website. She just didn't want the same thing. She wanted a more findable website than a more beautiful website because you can have a beautifully unfindable site as well. So let's take a look at what this looks like for her. So Terry had invented a phrase called blah, blah, blah. Dot US was her domain. So the first thing we had to take a look at is dot US is do not rank in Google. So there's our first challenge, <laughs> okay? The next challenge is she called her about us page chief of everything, C, C O E. Her main navigation said talk, see, no, read on her website, and then her blog was spelled B-L-A-H-G. So her blog was not being indexed by Google because it didn't see B-L-O-G. So we had a couple other interesting things. So the thing about being a speaker is we focus so much on creativity, making ourselves look unique and different and special. The problem is on the internet, it's about what people search. It's not about what we think about ourselves. Once they find us, then we can start to impress them with our knowledge and our thought leadership. But the problem is, we are not being found. We're nowhere to be found. They're searching for uh, thought leaders. Meeting planners are searching for themes and specific kinds of speakers. And if we don't use their language, we're never going to be found. So when you Google blah, 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 you don't get Terry. You get Kesha. <laughs> I'm not playing that video, okay? <laughs> no, I'm not. Not going to do it. You're welcome. You're welcome. So she's never going to kick Kesha off this page. Do you see that? Blah, blah, blah may be a great thing for her to say, but it's not going to work on Google because it's already taken by a pop star. And this is what the Google, Google Images. How many of you have been to Google Images? Images.google.com? Yeah, it's a wonderful resource for images, and people will search for you that way as well. It's the number two way people search on Google is Google Images. So take a look at this. We have a very interesting collection of what blah blah means to a search engine. Remember that we have Google here. Here's our website. And Google stands right between us and our customers are right here. So first we have to impress Google and then we get to impress someone who's going to work with us. And our great challenge is understanding the language of Google. I always think of Google like a dating service. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to start dating. I like long walks on the beach. I'm a Gemini. I like my lattes non-fat and skinny, please, right? But Google is the one who's going to stop us from meeting our perfect match because you're not speaking the language of our perfect match. So you'll see here that Dracula. Anyone know why Dracula would be blah, blah, blah? Yeah. Blah, blah. blah, blah. <laughs> that was really bad, I know, sorry. Um, so we have Deadpool, we have home, so Homer Simpson. Do you see how confused this word is? Very confused. And I think the biggest mistake that I see speakers make is they get so involved in their own language, their own unique language, that they become unfindable. So we got to connect with the language of our peeps. Those are the people on the outside looking for thought leaders, looking for what you do, but they haven't met you yet, right? You, you don't want to be the most unfindable speaker on the internet. We want to make sure that people understand you're a thought leader first and a speaker second, not the other way around. We have to show up as a thought leader in order to be findable. So let's take a look at Terry's keywords. So Terry's street language starts with effective communication. Effective communication gets 9,900 searches a month. Nowhere on her website. Effective presentations is 4,600 searches a year. Effective marketing was 4,830 a year. So here's what we did. We said, okay, effective communication is where I'm hanging my hat. I am going to use blah, 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 but it's no longer going to be how I, how I show myself to the world. So we bought effective communication now. Yes, it was available. Still lots of domains available. By having your domain say what you do, you are instantly findable for that concept. Instantly. You don't have to worry about branding your name. It's branding who you are and what you know that matters. This is what makes us get hired, is what we know and who we can help. Look at those numbers. I love knowing these numbers. Now, some of the tools that we're going to look at today are going to give you a very easy way to find your numbers. 
so we can stop guessing. Does anyone think guessing's expensive? Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Guessing's expensive, right? You try this, and then you try this, and then you get this, and you have all this good stuff, but you're still not seeing any results because you never ask the person who matters the most, the searcher. 